What is up guys, it's Joe Jimbo here and we have a off the press news release from Blizzard about World of Warcraft in some coming soon news. Now I saw this first on Twitter from Wowhead, hopped over to the Blizzard website and decided to check it out. I've heard a little bit about this from streamers such as Jasmine Gold and some others. And uh, this is something that I think is an overall plus for the game from the little bit that I've heard of. Now we'll read through this webpage here today and uh, get a little more insight as to what it is that we're looking at and what is going to be coming soon here to World of Warcraft. This is the landing page you get over at the Blizzard website for World of Warcraft. And uh, you see here updated December 12th. So this is a new one here. We have introducing the trading post. Let's take a look at this here. There we go. Introducing the trading post. Now, what could the trading post be? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So the trading post is a new feature is making its way to World of Warcraft. Complete monthly activities to earn currency towards decking out your characters in cosmetic transmog pets and mounts. With new items and activities introduced every month, you'll be able to experience this new feature soon on the PTR, or public test realm for those of you who are unaware. Uh, we have what looks like it's going to be uh, one set up in Stormwind and one set up in Obermar. And I assume that the reason for this is going to be not particularly the reason for this, but the reason why you're seeing one in Stormwind and Ogremar uh, is going to be because they need reasons for people to come back to these cities, right? Currently, why do you go back to your you know central hub? Um, it's either A, because you just are using it as a portal uh, a portal room, right? You're going back to Ogremar to take a portal to go somewhere else. Uh, or B, because you need to turn war mode on or off. And that's really the only reasons there, unless you're leveling an alt. Other than that, there's no reason to go back to Ogremar or Stormwind for anything else. Uh, this is probably a push to give people a reason to go back to these places and bring some life back to these towns. Now, not to say that there's not people here already. Uh, if you go to these towns, you will see there's people here. What they're doing, I don't know. I, I don't have the slightest idea. Probably gold farmers or something. I don't know what they're doing, but they do exist. Uh, so let's see. It, it says, a new set of traders will be moving their wares to the capital cities of Ogremar uh, and Stormwind, TNW, Tawny, and Wilder, and Zenshiri trading posts. You'll find TNW just outside of the Mage District in Stormwind and the Zenshiri trading post next to uh, Gromash Hold in Ogremar. It looks like they're pretty easy to identify. You got your big banners right on top of them. Our trader friends have pulled out all of the stops and have set up their shop so you can view the new items of the month prominently on display right at their shop. They have transmogs on mannequins, pets at their feet, and mounts secured in the stable. Uh, speak to the traders to see this month's wares. So it looks like there is a currency here, and this is, I'm assuming, how much longer they'll be on display or you'll be able to buy them, and these are going to be the items that you'll be able to get, the transmogs, pets, or mounts. Um, okay, so first uh, so first loss is kind of like a monthly battle pass. Uh, they haven't mentioned anything about needing to buy into it other than your monthly subscription that you already pay. Uh, so that's an interesting thing to add to the game. Uh, a home for creative cosmetics. There's a multitude of interesting transmog pet and mount possibilities in Azeroth. Limited only by imagine, ima ooh, can't talk. imagination, the trading post will serve as a home for many more items uh, from across Azeroth and beyond, and not limited by the current game content. So you'll be able to see things that have uh, been in or left the game uh, previously. Old content stuff you can't get anymore, perhaps. You can expect to see a variety of fun new items to add to your collection. Opening the possibilities allows for a wide variety of different goods to be brought to the trading post and players can expect the unexpected in each month's new catalog. Okay, how it works. Now, just as preface says, I'm a big fan of transmogs. I really enjoy transmogs. The more transmogging you can have, the better. That's, you know, I, I am team transmog. To obtain these unique cosmetic items, 
You'll need to acquire a new account-wide currency. Ooh, account-wide. So that means you don't have to farm up different uh, currencies for different alts and whatnot. Uh, called the Trader's Tender. This can be earned in two ways. Automatically, each month, just by logging in and heading to the trading post, you can collect 500 Trader's Tender every month from a chest called the Collector's Cash. All right, well, let's put in that 500 monthly perspective into what the costs were uh, with these screenshots. Okay, so it, it seems like we have anywhere from 100 up to nearly 1,000, right? So for one month, looks like you'd be able to get at least one of anything other than... Uh, okay, I, I can't do math. And anything below the Shattered Void Spire. So, and in a two-month period, you, for free, you don't have to do anything other than open the chest. You'd be able to get one of anything shown here on the screen. That is a interesting... Oh, and I didn't even see this down here at the bottom. Let me zoom down a little bit. Drag an item here to freeze it and prevent it from expiring. So if you don't have enough to pay for something right away and it's getting ready to expire, you can put it on hold, like layaway. Uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're not like 30 years old, you probably don't even know what layaway is. It, it probably doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry. If you are at least 30 years old, it's like layaway. You, you'll know exactly what that means. Uh, let's see. Also, by completing monthly activities in the Traveler's Log, a monthly set of activities provides a opportunity to earn up to 500 additional Trader's Tender. Okay, so if you do everything you need to do for the Trader's Tender for the month, you'll be able to buy even the most expensive thing that we've seen on that list. We'll be iterating on this new feature as we test on the PTR. The final trader's tender amounts are subject to change. Of course, balancing. Get tenders every month, not chicken tenders. At the first of each month, players with an active account in good standing will receive a set amount of trader's tenders automatically. So if you're a good boy, you get paid for it. If you don't have an active game time at if you don't have active game time on your account or aren't a subscriber at the start of a new month, don't worry. Your tender will be awarded on the first day of the month when you do have game time or an active subscription. Be the same amount for everyone, regardless of how you pay for your game. Okay, so if you use game time, if you actually buy game time, or you use WoW tokens, or whatever the case may be. Uh, let's see, the Traveler's Log. The second way to earn Trader's Tender is to complete monthly activities listed in the Traveler's Log. Each month features a rotating themed of set of activities. There's only a set amount of tender you can earn each month through completing activities. So you don't need to complete all of the ones in the log each month. I see. So the amount of activities, so the total amount of rewards for the activities is higher than the amount that you can earn in a month. So for instance, if we look at this picture here, it says resurrect players. Well, if you're not a healer, you don't care about resurrecting people, you can just not do that and probably still be able to reach your total uh, allotment. Or if you don't do pet battles, for example, uh, you know, you can just not do pet battles to get your total allotment. I, I, I do like that. It's not forcing people to do specific things. Um, you'll be able to pick and choose from a variety of fun in-game activities to easily earn tender. Players can choose to earn by continuing to play the game as they already do, such as completing quests, completing, uh, competing in battle grands, uh, battlegrounds, taking part in holiday activities, or even running Mythic Plus dungeons. But you can also choose to take part in activities uniquely designed for the month. That is good. Um, now, obviously, there, uh, as with everything, there will be a meta, right? People will very quickly determine what is the fastest way to max this out. And then... YouTube videos will come out and people will do just that. But for the majority of the gamers, right, and we don't like to admit this as content creators or people who view content creator content, uh, you know, we're not actually in the majority, right? The majority of players never see a video like this um, and don't look up guides and stuff like that. They come home from their job, uh, you know, and they get to play for 15, 20 minutes while their, you know, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, is making dinner mom dad is making dinner and uh, then they got to get off and take a shower and do the dishes and go to bed right those are that is 
the majority of the players, right? So those people will be able to experience this in a really fun way where they'll have a list of achievements that they can go and do and they can, you know, mold it to how they enjoy playing the game, not worrying about the meta and filling up that bar as quickly as possible. This is actually, this is probably a really fun thing for that type of player and myself included. Um, I, I think this is fantastic from what we've read so far. I'm ready for the bad news. It's, it's got to come anytime on this webpage. Uh, you'll be able to view these activities and your progress in the adventure guide with Shift J uh, in the new traveler's log. A bar at the top of the user interface will show your progress in earning traders tenders. Uh, at certain thresholds, trader tender will be deposited into your collector's cash for pickup. Interesting. Additional trader's tender is also obtained by filling the bar, but that's not all. There's a monthly rotation. On the first of the month, the traders will obtain new items and update the activities in the traveler's log for the new month. Items that are rotated out of the inventory won't be gone for good, though. They'll rotate back into the inventory in future months, giving players who miss them uh, in the first time an op another opportunity to add them to their collections. Okay? So you don't miss out completely. Now, to, they, they'd have to have an asterisk here and say, items not guaranteed to return, because you just never know. The trader's post will also include cosmetics from promotions that are no longer available, as well as items normally available for cash purchase on the in-game store as purchasable items. Wow, that's actually incredible. Can somebody, can we get a wellness check on the Blizzard headquarters? Can we send uh, an officer over there to make sure that this they're not in a hostage situation? Um, that's astounding. So, oh, man, people who... Okay. I'm definitely... I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. This is fantastic. But there is definitely going to be a set of people who are upset that something that they paid cash money for is going to be available for free in game now um i mean i think this is I, I i feel for those people who spent money on something for the game right um but i think that so far this trader's post uh, is an overall w for the game and those people are just gonna have to they're just gonna have to eat it you know i mean they don't have a choice but they're just gonna have to eat it this provides an alternate way for players to obtain these items. The real question will be, how far does this go? Does this go for 0.0001% uh, raid mount drops? Right? Are we going to see a lot of people on a very special horse mount here very soon? Or a very special phoenix mount here very soon? Hmm... How how deep does it go? That's the question. Getting a glimpse of the future. This is just the start of what we hope will be a rewarding new system for players to further personalize their character and their experiences within World of Warcraft. We'll be looking towards op additional opportunities to provide the community with even more ways to add to their collections and express themselves everywhere they go on Azeroth. Keep an eye on the upcoming PTR where we'll get a chance to try out new features for yourself. We look forward to hearing your feedback as we continue to develop this feature. That is awesome. Let's take a look at the comments real quick and see uh, see what the overall uh, thing is. Good job on this. Earning cosmetics this way is really cool. Okay, this looks interesting. Uh, this sounds like a nice option to have, but if the currency is account-wide... Uh, then are the challenges and quests also account-wide? Look, some pet battle ones. Ooh. That is actually an interesting thing because there are, yeah. Like, you, mmm. That is an interesting question there. Uh, make it give AP. That would ruin it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, this looks really great. Hopefully, uh, more TCG items would be in it. Looking at you, Magic Rooster. Okay, I'm not I'm not really familiar with the TCG or what Magic Rooster is. Completely honest. Somebody let me know down in the comments. Fill me in. Give me the deets. Uh, let's see. 
Nothing motivates players to do content more than power rewards. Hmm. I don't think that's completely true. I think there's, I think, I think this person is just projecting. Nothing motivates this person to do content more than power rewards. Hmm. Sounds like a battle pass kind of thing, but not with IRL currency. So it sounds good. Correct. Yeah. So this is very similar to how a battle pass works. And it is for free. Uh, a lot of games have free battle passes. Or I should say, no, that is a correct statement. A lot of games do have free battle passes. And then they have an option to pay money to get additional rewards on those battle passes. It doesn't seem like this trader's post is going to do that. Though, not to say it won't in the future. We'll see. Hmm. Epic addition to the game. Looking forward to it. Pretty sure they'll add FOMO to it and make premium version. This is okay. So this is what I was just talking about. Um, yeah, a premium version of the battle pass, or the ability to um, buy tenders with money. Right. Okay. So the overall, uh, the overall opinion of this seems to be pretty good. Uh, it seems like people uh, actually really enjoy this. And I think it looks fantastic. So I'm looking forward to this. And I, when it's on the PTR, I actually have to check as soon as I get done making this video. I'll have to hop on the PTR and see if it's something that's already available or when it starts. Because I'd like to uh, get an idea of how this works. I'm interested in it. Is this something that you guys would like? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to go back to leveling up my brand new warrior that I am currently leveling through the Legion storyline. Uh, we did that today on twitch.tv slash itchyojimbo. Uh, that is where I do stream at least two days a week when I'm not making videos. Uh, if you want to get caught up on that, come over and see us. Otherwise, like the video, hit subscribe, and tune in for our next video coming out soon. I'll see you guys later. Adios, muchachos.